Good morning, guys. So today we're gonna do a stretch or an on-the-go type of a lifestyle. If you have five minutes or 10 minutes, we're gonna go from head to toe and get you warmed up and stretched. And I'm gonna give you my version. And also at the end, Erin's gonna show you her express version. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So first, we're gonna start out with a little jog. Some hops. Mix it up, back to jogging. Just to get the blood flowing before we stretch. Soft knee while you're hopping up and down. Add a few light jumping jacks. Back to jogging. Let's move those arms too. Shoulders. In a short period of time, we want to move. So we want to get as much done as possible. So we're going to move arms and legs here. Let's move those arms forward. Back to jumping jacks. And do that for a good couple minutes. Okay. All right. So let's start with the lower body. Let's go ahead, grab a leg. And work on your balance at the same time. So pull this leg back, first on one hand, then with two. When you're balanced, try to stay balanced. And do this for at least 30 seconds. A lot of these stretches you can be longer if you have more than 10 minutes, but today we're trying to accomplish a stretch in five to 10 minutes because life is busy. All right, so again, once you get your balance, both hands, pull back as hard as you can. Just to stretch that quad muscle. All right, next, let's do a little calf stretch. Forward, press that heel into the ground. Right and other side. Press that heel into the ground. And lean into it. Shake it out, shake your hands out, shoulders, some more jogging. Let's go right into the groin stretch. We're going to go to second position for thighs as parallel as possible. And I want you to just bend down as far as you can go initially. Gradually go for more and more, getting these thighs parallel to the ground and also pushing back. And your inner thighs push back. And it helps if you lean into it, put your head down, and you'll feel that groin stretch. And just hold it there. Okay. Hold that for a while. At least 30 seconds. Hamstrings. The easiest thing to do is put your feet together and go down. You can have a slight knee bend initially to help you. Eventually you want to straighten your knees. And you can also isolate one side by just bending at knee and bending over with one knee bent, one knee completely straight. Putting all of your weight over the side that is straight. Other side too. Again, one knee locked, one knee bent. At least 30 seconds on each stretch. 
preferably a minute if you can. And now let's straddle and reach down. Keep those knees locked here. Slight turn out. All right. Okay, now we're into the upper body portion. So let's start with our hands behind our head like this. Pull the elbow. Towards your head or your ear, so it touches your head or your ear. And keep pulling until you feel an extreme stretch, but start gradually and then move into that extreme stretch phase. At least 30 seconds on each side. Again, in the interest of time, it's going to move through these exercises. So again, pull the elbow until your arm touches your head and ear full. Stretch overhead. Let's do some side bends now. And then let's reach forward. Reach forward, keeping a flat back. Go to the side now and slightly back, mainly with the upper back, keeping that core solid and side. And let's just make a continuous circle. So let the arms do what they want to do, relax the arms. So that we're stretching those rib muscles. Because there's nothing like, I'm sure we've all done it, but there's nothing like pulling one of these rib muscles here and then you can't breathe. Okay, all right, so neck. Just pull gently to one side. I don't like to do neck circles, I think that could result eventually in arthritis, so just pull to one side so you feel that stretch. Pull to the other side. So we've got our shoulders. We need to do our shoulders actually. We've got our elbows. Our rib muscles, back, neck. Hold down now. Move both hands and pull down. Then I just push up with my fingers like this to help me look up. So let's get the shoulders. So I'm gonna take one arm across. Here's my elbow. I'm gonna pull with this hand right here. Pull it towards me. So I feel that stretch on this right shoulder of mine. Other side. Here's my elbow. Make kind of a T. Pulling towards me. So you feel that stretch in the shoulder, left shoulder in this case. Okay, so. And that's a pretty good general stretch for the upper body. Elbows, shoulders, neck, kind of the torso area. You can also do this exercise here, just kind of both ways. Just kind of stretch out those rib muscles and help. Hold. And again, the side bends, front bend, side and back. Keep your hips forward. And you can make that into a circular version. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Again, extend your time if you have more than five minutes, if you have more than 10 minutes. Make sure you start with the lower body, go up to the upper body. And by that time, you should be a little sweaty. So, Good morning. Okay, so we're at the rink, um, getting ready for my session. Uh, we're gonna talk about warm up, stretching. So this will be kind of an express stretch. So usually I take more time to do this. Uh, first thing I do start off with is warm up. That could be anything from jumping rope, jogging in place. For me, I like to dance in place. I put my headphones on teach dance fitness so I usually like to warm up to some Latin music and once uh, once I'm warm um, I jump right into stretches and I'll show you um, like I said just an express version of the stretches that I like to do 
that help my body out the most. And I usually start with a deep squat to warm up these muscles. Push it in with the shoulders. Walk it back, reach back with my arms. It's a deep stretch here. A little bit of hamstrings. I also like to stretch out my splits, especially if I'm working on a showcase program where I use the splits or I'm working with my partner and we do a lift or trick that requires a split. So I usually like to drop down first slowly to a center split. Hold that. Usually a little bit longer. And I favor my left leg. That's what I use in control bands. So I hold that for a little bit. And just a couple more to finish off. Um, stretch out these muscles here. They get very tight. Usually pull it behind me or lift it up into like a skater stretch. Skater's position. Last stretch I like to do is in from a seated position. Um, put one leg on top of the other and just lean forward, and you'll get a lot of um, glutes in this one. And of course, one side always works. Ah, uh, yeah, left leg is more comfortable. I'm pretty tight. If I'm doing um, tricks on the ice, like cartwheels, I will also warm up and stretch out my wrists in this area because that gets pretty um, tight. So just a simple stretch like this. One more thing, I usually like to roll out my ankles. It also helps with toe point. All right, so that was my express version. I hope these help, uh, stretches help you out too. Um, remember, hold them for a little bit longer. Okay, see you in the next video. Well, I hope that was useful for you. Be sure to subscribe if you want to improve, and I'll see you in the next video.